All Android devices are slightly different, but use the same principles to operate. Today, I'm going to take you through the seven step editing process on a Samsung S8 with PowerDirector. The first step is to organize your clips. Open up your gallery and your camera folder and select the latest clips that belong together from your last shoot. On the menu, you'll find a move to album option. Create a new album. Make sure to rename the album so that you can find it again. And now you will have a nice neat folder where you can find those clips again. Now we're going to go back and we're going to open PowerDirector. We're going to want to start a new project. Again, renaming the project is very important so that you can keep your phone organized and find the project again at a later stage. Make sure to keep the aspect ratio at 16 by 9. The screen will open up and it allows you to find the clips you're looking for. Right here, I already have the latest album created ready for me. We're going to add the clips to the timeline now. Simply click on the clip and then click on it a second time to add it to the timeline. Add them as best as you can in the order that you want them. If you make a mistake, you can reorder them at any time by dragging and dropping the clips into the right place. This is why it's so important to only take into the program what you know you want to use. So be sure to delete all the unwanted clips before you import them into the editing program. As you can see, this video is at 1 minute and 10 seconds, and we're going to see if we can shorten that by trimming the clips to finding only the best moments. The way we do this is with the count. So if we hit play, and 1, and 2, and 3, and 4, and cut. Now that's a full 4 beat. Obviously we're going to want to shorten that, so we go back to the clip, we select it, and you simply slide to trim the clip to the most usable bit. Let's try again and one and cut. Now we're going to go through the rest of the clips and do exactly the same process, trimming it down to only the best moment. The nice thing with PowerDirector is that you can actually see the length of the clip, so it's easy to copy the length of the previous clips. Remember you want some to be only a single beat and others to be a double beat. If it gets too cramped and you can't see what you're doing or you click on the wrong button like this, then you can just pinch the screen to zoom in so that you have more accuracy on the controls. Trimming is definitely the longest part of the edit, but with time and practice you'll get very quick at just flying through the edit finding more or less the length that you want. Alright, that's the last clip trimmed down. We are now at 25 seconds, which is a whole lot better and will be a lot more engaging to watch. Let's go back to the beginning and add some music. The add more media button is on the side over here and we're going to go over to the music tab. From this menu you can easily search through your phone to find music that's stored on the device. I'm just going to use the over the horizon Samsung jingle for the sake of this exercise. Now we're going to zoom out so that we can see the end of the song so that we can bring it down to the same length as the video clips. Now it's time to balance the audio. On the right hand side, on the settings menu, you will go to the top option which is audio mixing. Because we have talking clips, we're going to bring the music down to about 50% of its full volume. Any clips that have undesirable audio on them, you can select the clip and open the edit tab this menu gives you a whole variety of options like duplicate, crop, reverse, flip, change the speed or add a color grade. We're going to focus on the first option which is the volume and just bring that down to zero or to mute it. Let's go to the beginning and give it a test run.
And there you go. You have a fantastic short little clip that is perfect to use on social media. Because I've used the free version of PowerDirector, there will still be a watermark on the bottom right hand corner of the video. To remove this, you need to upgrade to the full version. There are two payment options, either for lifetime or if you're only going to use it here and there, you can pay quarterly. It's definitely a fantastic app and it's really not expensive, so it's well worth the price. We're going to save the project and then produce the project to export it. You have a variety of options to send it straight to social media, but it's always good to save a copy to your gallery. The great thing about purchasing this app, you won't have all these pop-up ads. And that is how you edit a video in seven minutes.